I came from a business family, and so naturally my ambition and aspiration was to be a successful entrepreneur. My idol was actually my mum, who didn't have many opportunities in a culture where women, you know, had to stay at home. But uh, in tough times, she leveraged her experience, her knowledge to go out and help my dad uh, when his business needed help. She went out to make sure that two of her girls, right, against a backdrop of a fairly traditional culture, were given the right level of education and independence to, to stand on their feet and, and make a living of their own. The most powerful traits that any woman should have are the ones that anyone should have. It's not restricted to gender, really, but it's really confidence in yourself, in who you are, in your own strengths, and also a level of self-awareness of where you need to go, what's holding you back, and how can you liberate yourself from that. What I think women bring is a very different perspective. I've noticed that they come from a very different angle, which I think is very valuable. There are a couple of things that holds women back. One is when they get to a certain level in their career, how do they balance work life? I think women need to create it for themselves, whatever the right balance is, but the organization needs to facilitate it. Sometimes kind of they hold back, whether it's for a new role, having a voice in the room, I used to hold back. I didn't feel confident in myself. Although I knew that I could deliver, I was not fully expressed. The mirror was held up to me, and it was me holding myself back. You always need role models, and to have senior role models who are on the exec, on the board, board who you can learn from, is, is always great to have as your North Star. And you know if they can do it, so can you, in good times and in bad.